Well, the NEO um, makes very clear that it was the correct thing to do to change the design of the carrier, to change the plane that we required for the carrier, and that it made economic sense to go ahead with the second carrier. So I think there's a broad endorsement for the government's position. Well, we didn't choose our starting point. We inherited a complete mess from Labour, a carrier programme which they didn't have the money for in the budget, where they had the wrong design of the ship and the wrong planes to go on it. So we uh, inherited a starting point that we would not have chosen. But having said that, uh, we had to take the appropriate decisions to make it interoperable with the United States and to give us 50 years of the best utility that we could have in terms of power projection. Well, of course, we can't know what the settlement will be beyond 2015. We haven't got a Treasury settlement for public expenditure beyond that, but we make assumptions uh, that the programme will uh, get better value for money because we've stripped $3.4 billion out of the cost uh, since we came to office. And we think in terms of national security, it gives Britain 50 years of uh, a credible power projection from the sea. Well, of course, we had spent a lot of, of money but the question is, what do we need in terms of our defence? Uh, and we judge that we require, for an adaptable posture for our defence, the ability to project power from the sea in the longer term. And this is a 50-year investment in, in uh, carrier strike capability. Uh, and, you know, frankly, for a former Labour minister who left us a 38 billion black hole in the defence budget and 158 billion deficit to even talk about value for money is a bit rich.